Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Halo 2. We are going back to the Arbiter today, and last time we saw him, he was knee-deep in the Covenant Civil War, uh, taking revenge against the dastardly Brutes, who had uh, murdered all the elite counselors. What is that place where the counselors were meant to watch the consecration of the Icon? The start of the great journey. There is still time to stop the key from turning. I must get inside. Then mount up, Arbiter. I know a way to break those doors. Uh, okay, so last time we were the Arbiter, I mentioned that I don't know whether he actually believes you know, grave mind as far as the halos go, but I think at this point he at least realizes that some questions need to be asked. Yeah, I have a question about... Do we st still think grave mind is a good guy? Oh, absolutely not. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't All think right. we ever thought grave mind was a good guy. Um, I don't think we yeah, ever had a I choice of even working with him, so... No, we definitely didn't. I, I kind of thought maybe he was good. Um, maybe that's like the Witcher effect, where like the uglier and crazier <laughs> creature is, like the more likely it is to like be good. Right. Um. Yeah. No, the Grave Mind was never good, but he is right. Um. Humans are bad. Well, I mean, yes, but he's <laughs> right that the Halos are going to kill everything which, you know, most living things don't like, uh, including humans. Um, we still want the Grave Mind and all the Flood dead, just that the Halos aren't really the right way to do it. So it's complicated. There's some very good choir music. Yeah. Uh, one of the sort of I don't know if I want to call it like a central theme, but a thing that comes up fairly regularly in Halo is the sort of enemy of my enemy is my friend. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there, yeah, there's been lots of times where you have multiple factions fighting. And, right. Like, yeah. So sort of the humans and the Flood are on the same side as far as stopping Halo from firing, but not generally on the same side. And the Scarab comes back. I love this. Like, a lot. Um, back on Earth, when the Scarab showed up as the enemy, and we had to sort of figure out how to fight it, and learn about the Scarab, and now it comes back at the very end as the solution. I really Did like you have to that. Drive it? Yeah. I guess we'll see. I just want to drive that thing. Yeah. I should know the answer, but you, as we keep yeah, talking I about, should. we have completely forgotten the plot of this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually. Yeah. I mean, on one hand, I'm a little bit. I don't know what the right word is. Embarrassed that you guys have forgotten it. Um, but on the other hand, I'm really happy because one of the things I really like about, uh, I guess, our commentary dynamic is usually you guys haven't seen the games I show you. That's true. Mm -hmm. And so if you've forgotten the plot, that's actually really good <laughs> for the videos. <laughs> I like. I remember I, the end, though. Yeah. I, I feel like, like I knew the plot of Black. Yeah. <laughs> without playing it. And I don't know the plot of Halo with playing it. <laughs> yeah. Black was something else, though. Black didn't even have a story. I don't know what you're talking Special about. Special game. Oh, I guess I kind of showed off there. You can mount, you can uh, board tanks from the back, but you can't uh, kill the driver. You have to grenade them. So that's kind of a cool line. 
I don't know if you noticed when we were looking out over the cliff here, but there is a cruiser off in the distance. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is named Shadow of Intent. And spoilers, he does go take it back. Hooray! Yeah. What a dumb that name for a ship. <laughs> it's ominous, that's for sure. <laughs> The Arbiter? I thought he was dead. Hold your fire! The Hunters have come to our aid, Arbiter. They will fight by our side. Yeah, the Just these two or all of them? Um, most of them, I think is probably yeah. the best way to say it. I think we sort of already knew that. I didn't point it out, but um, when we were the Master Chief fighting um, into the mausoleum, we did see the hunters fighting against the brutes. But yeah, they're generally on the elite side. They're pretty effective. They're very effective. The sound of them in the hallway was kind of weird though. It's awesome. <laughs> the stomping? Yeah. Even now, that's just all you can hear. Oh, it's so good. I used to hate getting killed by brute shots so much. Mm hmm. Like in multiplayer. I I honestly don't remember ever using them in multiplayer. Oh, you could you could rip those four shots off right away and just like I think they like stunned you too, so if you're like moving it would like kinda slow you. Mm. Although I just remembered, I don't know if it was Halo 2 or Halo 3. There was a custom game called Braveheart, I think. <laughs> where both teams just lined up on opposite sides of a big map and lobbed grenades at each other. Do you guys remember there's that? There's a lot of good, there's a lot of good game types. It yeah. sounds like it rings yeah. a bell. Yeah, I, I can't say I know for sure. All right, fair enough. I miss like the jumping, the platformer mini games. Oh yeah, yeah. Would, was there, how, I'm confusing Halo 2 and 3 multiplayer, because 3 had some really good custom game types. I can't well, so remember if 2 had... 2 had good. a bunch of stuff, like zombies and hide-and-seek and blah blah. Anyway, um, but 3 is when they introduced Forge, and that's where yeah, like, you that's actually nice. make custom maps. Yeah. And that's 3 where was a the good. Yeah. The good, good. <laughs> yeah. That's where a lot of the cool custom games came from, because you could actually set up maps and spawn points and stuff. Whereas in Halo yeah, 2, you were working with the normal, um, I guess, map mechanics. Yeah, 3 was where all the jumping games and the like races and stuff came in. Yeah, exactly. Mongoose racing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I could go for some of those right now. Swordfish, I think you showed me the Overwatch jumping maps. Yeah, those are very good. Overwatch has taken this like make your own map thing to like like a level that probably like just the developers had, you know. Hmm. I didn't even know they added that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Custom, custom games are wild. Yeah. I I haven't played Overwatch in like well over a year, so I I don't know. No, I mean, I, I I was playing these jumping games where, like, there's these... Y you need to, like, use the skills. Like, if you're Genji, you zoom forward or whatever. Mm -hmm. and Like... Double jump need, zoom. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, wasn't there, like, a hidden jumping puzzle on their training level? Was that Overwatch? Uh, that was Valorant. Sure. Oh, that was oh, Valorant. Okay. You're right. Uh, um, yeah, I, I didn't play yeah. that more than, like, a day. No, me neither. Uh... <laughs> Overwatch, though, like, yeah, they gave players, like, the most granular customization options. Like, you could mix and match character abilities. You could make it so that 
like divas main shoot like shoot spawn points and like weird stuff like that oh weird uh, like sorry. It's, it's insane yeah i see i see what you're doing right now frenzy you're releasing yeah. the the prisoners jailbreak i wanted to point out that that elite the white elite with the big hat uh is actually a counselor so they weren't all killed and i also think this is the only time they actually show up in the game is this level here but uh that bounced off the fruit. Doesn't yeah, stick I, to their hair. I think he somehow like attacked it, or a brute shot exploded yeah. in the um, projectiles yeah. in Halo. Actually, get affected by explosions, so you can deflect mm -hmm. rockets and grenades with other explosions, which is neat. Mm -hmm. Uh, human prisoners. We're, uh, I guess, helping them out here. Listen, you don't like me, and I sure as hell don't like you. But if we don't do something, Mr. Mohawk's gonna activate this ring, and we're all gonna die. Tartarus has locked himself inside the control room. Well, I just happen to have a key. Come on, grab a bandage and give me some cover. Gonna know what's coming. <laughs> so no persuasion we check. <laughs> we don't get to drive the scarab. Johnson does. Yeah. yeah. Um, this it's is worth it. This is quite the unexpected team up. Um, but it's one of the reasons I really wanted to mention before the whole enemy of my enemy is my friend thing uh, because again when facing galactic extinction um, sometimes you don't get to choose the friends you might expect and uh, so, so Miranda is with the uh, roots then? Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, Tartarus took Commander Keys with him. Yeah, I guess that's it, yes, he has Commander Keys. <laughs> I guess the game will never quite specifically address it, why they need the human prisoners. Um, but it turns out that only humans uh, can use the index to activate Halo. Oh. Yeah. And that is a thing that, you know, the Covenant learned from that Forerunner AI I was talking about last video. I see. Mm-hmm. So, one way to stop it all from happening is for all humans to die. Yep, that's true. All right, I'm a fan. <laughs> well, kill all humans. Kill would all that human? <laughs> I'm not actually sure that would work. I'm just thinking. Uh, in Halo One. Cortana was convinced that uh, Guilty Spark could find a way to bypass it and set off Halo. So maybe even with all the humans dead, a Forerunner AI could still set them off. Yeah, but we wouldn't know because we'd all be dead. Yeah, it's not our problem Jesus! Anymore. That's true. <laughs> yeah, uh, the Scarab can stomp you. <laughs> Gotta watch out for that. Thanks, Johnson. I mean, to be fair, this is probably the first time he's driven one. I think he's doing pretty good. Oh, the scarab, yeah. We'll see on his annual review. This is such a cool level. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I Those feel like can the... take a lot of damage. <laughs> Like the cover us aspect is like n less important when it's like an unstoppable giant tank. Yeah. I guess they could board him. Uh, uh, 
he actually has a shield up over the the control area in there. If you land oh. on the scarab and try and go see him, you can't get in. Oh, okay. That's funny. So yeah, he probably doesn't need that much cover, really. Yeah, it feels like the stakes could not be lower for what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> How is your banshee still alive <laughs> and in the air? That is actually an interesting question. Um, Halo 2 is very weird about their vehicles. Their health is tied to the player health in some way. So they will often survive a lot more than you would expect as long as your shields keep recharging. That's hilarious. Yeah. But I did ditch it. And you it. didn't even try to... Didn't even try to mid-air hijack a banshee. Well, not yet. How else am I going to get to the control room? That's true. Watch this. Here he goes. <laughs> if he lives through it. Oh, what? No. no. Not that one. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay. No, Wait, I'm not impressed. Oh. Almost. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Um, Here it comes. Here it comes. Tabbing out. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> exactly as planned. <laughs> uh, I went the whole game without including a death, but that one was hilarious. Also extremely frustrating. Yeah. Uh, yeah as I'm bet. sure you can imagine. Hey, clear of the door! Hey! Bastard! Knock, knock! Every line of his is a gem. It really is. Yeah. He's so sassy. Apparently he does have a, like a whole bunch of dialogue if you fly your banshee in front of the doors before he can shoot. He has like a bunch of different lines telling you to get out of the way. It's pretty fun. And then eventually he <laughs> just goes like, well, whatever, I'm firing. <laughs> <laughs> What are you looking at here? Just taking in the view. Uh, and I am going to show off the original graphics for the last time. I think it looks okay. Their outdoor areas yeah. still work pretty it's well. It's not bad. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. All right, let's head inside. Uh, that Scarab's main gun, uh, it did did a number on this place. Are you gonna have to crouch for the first time in this entire game? Uh, no, I've okay. crouched before, surely. I'm not, I don't know, maybe for cover, but like. Yeah, I don't think this game has like an actual crouch tutorial. Like, Halo 1 had that, where there was a door you had to crouch to get under to teach you the controls. I don't think Halo 2 really had that. Alright, this is another really would, annoying room, you, but they give you yeah. this sneaky option. I was gonna say, how do you deal with this in uh, Legendary, but probably active camo is... Yep. Clutch. You basically just do that over and over and over. Active camo under the floors and get behind them. Uh, they will chase you down there if they see you. And that's not a good time. But yeah, I have to resort to doing it even on normal. It's it's a pretty tough little section here. Not a whole lot of cover or good weapons for you to use. Come, human. It is easy. 
the icon in your hands. And do as you are told. Please use caution. This reclaimer is delicate. One more word, Oracle, and I'll rip your eye from its socket. Mm. Which is nothing compared to what I'll do to you. Tartarus, stop. Mm. Impossible. Put down the icon. Put it down. And disobey the Hierarchs? There are things about Halo even the Hierarchs do not understand. Take care, Arbiter. What you say is heresy. Is it? Oracle, what is Halo's purpose? Collective oh, the seven. Not another word. Please. Don't shake the light bulb. If you want to keep your brain inside your head, I tell those boys to chill. Go ahead. Do your thing. The sacred rings. What are they? Weapons of last resort, built by the Forerunners to eliminate potential flood hosts, thereby rendering the parasite harmless. And those who made the rings? What happened to the Forerunners? After exhausting every other strategic option, my creators activated the rings. They and all additional sentient life in three radii of the Galactic Center died as planned. Would you like to see the relevant data? Tartarus, the Prophets have betrayed us. No, Arbiter! The Great Journey has begun, and the Brutes, not the Elite, shall be the Prophet's escort! Well, shit. That's not good. <laughs> nope. No, it's not. He seems reasonable. <laughs> uh, it's final boss fight time. We gotta oh, fight yeah. Tartarus here and his mohawk and giant hammer, which uh, is very devastating. Uh, that thing will absolutely one-hit kill you, even on normal. Sequence initiated. Primary generators coming online. We'll shut them down. Apologies. The does not allow me to interfere with any aspect of the sequence. Then how do I stop it? Well, it will take some time to go over the proper procedure. Quit stalling. Under more controlled circumstances, I would suggest the reclaimer simply remove the units. That's it? Johnson, I'm on it. Uh, this is another case where there's actually a whole bunch of dialogue you can listen to, but it requires you to essentially not do the fight you're expected to do. Th those guys just died of falling. Yeah. Yeah. Fall damage. Uh, so this boss fight is... I mean, it has unique mechanics, and they take a little while to figure out. You're telling me you can't stop the sequence. Reclaimer, please understand. Interrupting the wave generation process will severely damage this installation. Give me a direct answer. I am but a monitor. The Reclaimer can do what it wants. Uh, so the one thing I like is sort of watching the fight from the sidelines like that. You can piece together how this is supposed to work. When Johnson shoots Tartarus with the beam rifle, it drops Tartarus's seemingly invincible shields, and that's when you have to do your damage. Checks out. Yep. It. I just remember it taking me forever to sort that out. I was just unloading on Tartarus and could not figure out why he wasn't dying. Power generation phase complete. The installation is ready to fire. Starting final countdown. Look out! May I say, Reclaimers, it has been a pleasure to serve you both. Goodbye. <laughs> Make I, sure to review us on, uh... Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. I actually really like that line because he specifically says you both. He is only talking to Commander Keys and Sergeant Johnson. <laughs> hmm. 
Um, I remember watching our friend Mel. There we go. Do this fight for about six hours. Yeah, <laughs> to, to kill it. What's that? A beacon. What's it doing? Communicating at superluminal speeds with the frequency of... Communicating with what? The other installations. Show me. Failsafe protocol. In the event of unexpected shutdown, the entire system will move to standby status. All remaining platforms are now ready for remote activation. Remote activation? From here? Don't be ridiculous. Listen, Tinkerbell, don't make me... Then where? Where would someone go to activate the other rings? Why the Ark, of course. And where, Oracle, is that? We've got a new contact, unknown classification. It isn't one of ours. Take it out. This is Spartan 117. Anyone hear me? Over. Isolate that signal. Master Chief? You mind telling me what you're doing on that ship? Sir, finishing this fight. And that's how the game ends. Damn. So, so good. Yeah. yeah. It, it is a really good game. Gosh. I remember being like, for days after, being like, I need to know what happens to Cortana. Yeah. Uh, that's actually a really good lead into the, the one point I really want to make. Um, Halo 2 has kind of a cliffhanger ending. And by kind of, I mean a big cliffhanger mm. ending. Um, yeah, it, it really is kind of the one criticism, the one big criticism that a lot of people had is that it doesn't feel like you get any closure on the story at all. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess they were just like after Halo 1, they were like, this might be our only game. And then yeah. maybe for 2, they were just like, you gotta make us make another. <laughs> <laughs> it is a very common... Um, thing for second entries in trilogies that they'll uh, end yeah. with a, a cliffhanger for the finale. Um, but Halo 2's wasn't intended. They ran into development issues and deadlines, so they actually had to cut a couple levels off the end. So it. They... I don't think I knew that. Yeah. Mm hmm. But uh, part of the problem is defending Earth was one of the big things they did in their, like, marketing and promotion. Like, all the trailers have you on Earth. The E3 demo um, is the big fight through the city. Except that only lasts two or three levels, and then you don't have any idea what's going on on Earth for the whole rest of the game. Which is a little disappointing. Um, but then, from the second level... The goal was actually finding out why the Prophet of Regret attacked Earth 
and only landed in the one spot in New Mombasa. And we don't find that out. Like, for more than True. half of the game, that was the Master Chief's objective. Yeah. And we never actually get an answer. Hmm. So that, I guess that's you'll disappointing. have to tune in to the next uh, series. That's right. <laughs> and luckily, you won't have to wait three years like we did. Yeah. Um, but yeah, otherwise, it's a, it's a great game. And I mean, playing it now, when you can play the whole trilogy, it's great. It's just... You know, when we waited years and years and stayed up till midnight and bought the game and played it, you know, straight through to the end, it's it just feels like you don't get an ending. It's okay. I was just training us for Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah. For the me, books. it's Sherlock season two. Oh. Yeah, that was forever. It really was. But yeah. Oh, yeah. man, what a great game, though. Yeah, um, yeah. I... At this point, I've probably posted in the thread a while ago about our story with Halo 2, actually, just since I was saying it, where the three of us um, went after school, sat in front of the mall, bought the game at midnight, went and played it for 14 hours straight, <laughs> and then all three of us had to go to work at the restaurant. Oh, yeah. Uh, geez. <laughs> I don't even remember that, so that makes it probably more true than... Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't remember working. We were extremely <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I got my uh, my Midnight Release game is much more honed in later years. Mm. I would uh, get home from work. I would take a bunch of Benadryl and, like, <laughs> sleep six or seven hours and then, like, <laughs> wake up for midnight. Yeah. Well, that's... well, it became so much easier when they started doing online releases at midnight. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And like, you uh, driving on Benadryl. early downloads, too. <laughs> like, it just, like you say, you can take a nap and wake up at midnight. Yeah, yeah. And then Whereas... find out that the server is overloaded and, like, <laughs> yeah. thanks to Diablo 3. Few... Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. <laughs> yeah. I think that was the last one that we all did. Like, no, uh -huh. I guess not all of us, but most of us did together. Maybe. I, I remember Halo 2, Halo 3, and I think, uh, Cletus, you and oh. I did Halo Reach. We also did Fallout. Fallout oh, 4. we did do Fallout, that's right. Because we went golfing that day, before. <laughs> <laughs> like the white guys we are. <laughs> <laughs> we got a good... Yeah. Race reveal uh, for Swordfish in the next series. <laughs> I, I... Oh, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Um... No, but we have had such a good time. Midnight releases, it just... I don't know, there's something about them when you've been waiting for so long. Yeah. To yeah, start it's... playing, like, as soon as literally possible. And, like, hey, with Halo 2 especially, they leaked, like, they, they teased so much stuff, and they teased so many, like, little clips of multiplayer and, like, weapons. Yeah. And then they did, like, the, like... It was before influencers. Mm hmm Like, they didn't, they didn't have, like early access for streamers so it was just like anyone who got to like was near Bungie and got to play in their like closed beta in house and like could sneak a video out they did right well yeah and I just it was the first Halo well I mean obviously but uh, with Xbox Live so we could go to our own houses and play but then still play with each other even at like 3 in the morning or other stupid times hell yes yeah it was great it I don't think I've ever been more hyped for a game than Halo 2, and and I'm no. thinking now like why is that? And I, I think it's just like, there's all these pre-releases and and disappointments since then. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> I mean, part the, of this one probably... did not dis disappoint me. No. it was good. Part yeah. of it is probably that we are older too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. True. We're not in teenagers anymore, but yeah, the only thing that would rival Halo 2 is maybe Halo 3. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, a game that, like... I mean, the multiplayer in Halo 2, we played a shitload of. Oh, yeah. But, like, for personally for me, Halo 3, like, the multiplayer was just, like, a, a fate, like an era of my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Halo 3 was a big deal, like... When? 2007. So, like, halfway through our university years. Yeah. And that's still what I remember as being, like, what we would do on... Friday and Saturday nights is play Halo instead of, I don't know, go to parties and talk to girls or whatever it is normies did. 
<laughs> Fucking normies. <laughs> yeah, I still don't know. <laughs> nope, nope. Oh, man. All right, uh, I guess we'll call it there. Um, I will have a interstitial video to sort of fill in some of the gaps between Halo 2 and the start of Halo 3. And then otherwise, yeah, I guess we'll see you for Halo 3 soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.